Hello, welcome to another post from Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. Today we're going to watch a patient walk who demonstrates internal patellar rotation. That is a leading cause of a lot of knee injuries. And with this patient, we're going to try to decide whether it's related to the pronation of the foot, which would internally rotate the knee, or a weakness up at the hip in the external hip rotators. So as Aphrodite walks towards us, you can see about every second or third step, her patella rotates uh, rapidly internally. Both of them uh, do this, and at times it looks like the left is worse, and at times it looks like the right is worse. Her foot pronation, however, is, is very minimal. So that rotation is most likely coming from her hip. So let's, Aphrodite, let's test your hip muscles. So in testing the hip rotator muscles, we're going to try to decide if the muscles that turn her in are stronger than the muscles that turn her out. And in discovering that, we can put her on a strengthening program or a flexibility program uh, based on what we find. So first we're going to test the muscles which turn her out, which seem to be doing a good job as she's walking. So first we'll turn her in. The foot actually goes out in this exam. I stabilize the inside of the knee, push on the ankle, and now resist my, my hand pushing on your ankle. Okay. Try to hold that, and we find that her internal rotators are very strong. It's very hard to break her. Now we'll test the external hip rotators. She's rotating out here. The, the, um, the foot's actually in, and I'm going to use the one finger test, which I threaten my patients with, to see if she can resist a, uh, internal, uh, a force. So hold, hold that, Aphrodite. And you can see how easy, even with about five pounds of pressure, how easy it was for me to resist that. So Aphrodite has a lot of internal patellar rotation. She needs to be on a good external hip rotator strengthening program to help stabilize the knee. Thank you very much.